Hi guys, let's do something a little bit different. Let's do something that's not a functional piece. What you printing? Like everybody, I do 3D print some things that aren't functional just for the looks. Quite often for the kids or just sit on the desk or to show off to other people. Um, one thing that a lot of people print is the 3D Benji nice little benchy here actually it's not that great a one because it's a fair bit of stringing but it's one of the ones I still got around I happen to see on Thingiverse there is a um, pretty benchy with waves to stand it up on I thought that looks quite good and I thought I'll print that um, didn't go the best but we'll do a time lapse and we'll discuss it after So here's our little free Benji sitting on its waves. As you can see from the print, on this part here it was really really thin and close to the bed. Um, some of the other parts were really close, it did come off eventually. Um, but this back corner, which was orientated towards where the um, was on the time lapse, is in this back corner here, was way too far away. And what it appears to be doing, and it's done a few other prints as well, is with the auto-leveling, it doesn't end up flat and level, which is the whole point of auto-leveling. So I started doing looking into it for a bit, and figured out what's happening is the effector, which is the part where the nozzle and hot end is on the printer, um, tilts a little bit. Um, and I can't seem to get rid of that in my in my um, printer. Um, so, But with manual leveling, it's okay because you can figure out just where the nozzle will be at which height at which point but with the oil level since it tilts and the nozzle is in a different spot to where the sensor is it gets a different height and so it ends up wrong um, I tried all sorts of things I'll show you some circle tests I did for the Delta with the oil level trying um, tightening up everything making sure it was all nice and tight I even tried turning the whole effector around to see if um, having the blower on the on and the um, and the induction sensor sensor um, in a different spot would help. Um, in fact, in some ways, it made it worse. Um, but a couple of little time lapses me trying to do a um, this circle test on Thingiverse and a quick couple of time lapses of me trying to actually even get that to complete um, it was either coming off the bed or just doing enough getting too, way too close for I had to stop it so a couple quick time lapses of that and then we'll come back to um, what I did to try and solve this Okay, so what I ended up doing was I turned the auto leveling off on the printer. Um, because what the reason why I didn't want to do that though, 
um, is because the printing Z plate, if I take it off and since it twists around, you, you do twist it to get things off, sometimes it ends up not entirely flat. And so I was hoping to use oil level to compensate for that and save me re-leveling it, which on a Delta is a little bit harder than it is on my um, CTC. Admittedly, I have to re-level the CTC basically every print, but I can do it on the fly quite easily. Whereas Delta, if it starts going wrong, you've got to start sort the print again and re-level it. Um, but here's now a time-lapse of the first print I did after manual leveling. I did some more adjustment after to make it even a little bit better, and you can see how much better it is, and the fact that it actually even completes. Okay, so, so far this video has consisted of some talking about benchies, some talking about um, some wave prints, and nothing functional, which you can't really have that. We've got to do something about this. So, we're going to do another print, or actually another couple of prints. There's a source saver, which I found on Thingiverse again. Now, the kids love this when I printed it out because that basically that what they called it when their friends and friends were using it they all wanted the, in quotes, rocket source um, and so that was very popular I then later on found a remix of this which looks like it would be a bit more stable doesn't look quite as much like a rocket because it's got the circular part underneath like this and let's load the pop into it there's one other difference to this one as well which I don't like as much as the original one is the fact that the, down the centre here there's a hole all the way through which means if somewhere's in your source leaks it leaks onto the bench um, but let's do a time lapse of one of each of those printing and then we'll have a discussion about that
Okay, so here we've got the original one we print, I printed on the CTC ages ago, which you didn't see a time lapse of. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of roughness in there. And as I said, this was printed ages ago before I even put fan cooling onto my CTC or made it basically my ABS printer. And where the back side where there wasn't, there was less cooling, is all lumpy on that side. But other than that, it works well. Source bottle goes in, holds it, works well. These are the newer ones I printed. Now there's no problem with the right surface finish. So if the top's good, once again, source bottle goes in. Sits so in the desk quite well. This one, as I said, got the problem with, well, I think it's a bit of a problem with the hole in the bottom, but it's a much more stable base. Once again, just sits on it, and off you go. Anyway, that's it for today. See you guys next week, and watch your printing. <laughs>